Hello everyone, this is Norge, and today I have something amazing to show you guys. I was tempted to call this Electronic Game Purchase Collection number 11, but then I realized, wait, I can't do that because, because like, I got this from someone, I didn't buy it myself, so I can't do that. So this is the, it's been the third person who has given me a game. I got an electronic game from Sam Locke, which in and of itself is a pretty crazy statement that I don't think I would have ever seen coming in the past like five to six years, but it's happened. I got a game from Sam Locke, and what game would that be other than the one that he's the most famous for nowadays? That game is the... Okay! Listen up! Get your brain in gear and let's play Brain Shift! It's the Brain Shift, made by Tiger in 1998. So, um, I'd like to start off by saying that the entire thing, uh, of course, I didn't buy it myself, and that's a great thing. Um, I did have to pay for shipping, though, and all of that, including the import taxes, which we did actually have to pay that, and that was on behalf of my family, um, that, all of that totaled somewhere around... 15 to 16 pounds worth. So it's not much at all, and considering the fact that import charges from uh, Great Britain to the, the EU have, you know, kind of become a thing in the past year, uh, I don't think it, it's that big of a deal, and I think uh, I basically got this as a steal. Like, it's pretty crazy. Um, and it's it's in 100% working condition, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I don't know. Uh, it feels a little bit weird still, but maybe it's just because I need to get used to it. Um, but everything works as, as I would expect it to. Um, so let's, let's talk about... I don't have too much time, I only have like about an hour worth, so I don't know if I'll... I'll probably not have enough time to go through everything, I don't even know. I want to describe the thing for those who don't know what a brain shift looks like and even now I'm still trying to figure out how all of it's laid out because it's a bit convoluted in places it's very circular so like the first impression I got of it is imagine something like a Simon or just like a straight circle but you can also imagine a Simon you don't need to in fact the best analogy I can come up with is a Super Simon 2003 that is not circular that is not hexagonal but it's circular instead because there are six things on the top and uh, I'll get to that in a bit but first um, the entire thing kind of kind of resembles a steering wheel but not as much as something like a Simon swipe or a bop it would do um, it has uh, it's called a brain shift for a reason because it's meant to have a lot of car related things on it a lot of the the terminology and a lot of the stuff that the game does is a little bit car centric on the um on the outside on the kind of like the four uh cardinal corners i would guess uh, we, uh, i would probably say of the circle there are four of these wheels that basically uh, shows whichever player uh, you are controlling. So you can sit at whichever position on the table uh, next to uh, one of those wheels and that shows uh, which player is, is where. There's only four players in this game. You can have only up to four, not six, which is kind of weird. Um, so those wheels are made out of rubber and they stick out quite a lot. In fact, you can kind of hear them bend if I mess with them a little bit. 
You might even be able to pop them off, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, in the middle bit, which is actually the more substantial bit, um, there are a couple things. For one, the entire thing kind of, kind of flips up. There's many, many different lines that kind of grow bigger as it goes, which then kind of protrudes into this platform. The platform itself contains a lot of uh, a lot of holes in and of itself, like the platform, the bit on the top, I mean. And there are things on the top. For one, there are six indicators. I'm guessing those are where the lights would be. Uh, and these lights are huge. They're not like the Uno Blitzo buttons or anything. They are circular, uh, and they stick out even more. They're just about as big as... Hmm. I don't know. They are quite big, I, I would say. Um, I'm trying to... Okay, about as big as the diameter of a Twist-It on a bop -It Micro. I think that's the closest I can get to describing that. It's, it's about that big, and there's even more little tiny little protrusions on each light. Um, and they go around in a sort of hexagonal shape, which for me would mean two that are kind of closest to me and furthest away from me, which means like, um, let me see. So two, one of them is f uh, closest to me and the other one is furthest away. And there's another four of them that are kind of uh, top right, bottom left, uh, top right, bottom right, top left, bottom left, if that makes any sense. That's going to come in uh, very handy because in the very middle um, is what you use to control the game with. It's this stick. It's this gear stick looking thing. For those who haven't ever felt one of these, imagine a huge analog stick from a gamepad, just like elongated like hell, um, and it has the basically the same sort of physics, except you can't turn it 360 degrees and expect it to turn along with your movements. Instead, you can hear it kind of stop on different positions, and that's because it can only move in any of those six directions that I told you about just a while ago. And of course, when you let go, it springs back to the middle. This is what it's supposed to do. You can't push down on the stick. You can, however, twist it. You can spin the stick around, which is kind of interesting. I'm hoping that uh, it's not breaking anything when I do that. I'm guessing there's a little bit of metal in there, actually, when it's, when it's moving around. So that's what you use to shift to the different colors or the different positions. And there's two tiny, tiny, tiny little buttons, um, smaller than any of the buttons on the Super Simon 2003, even smaller than the buttons on the top it. They're tiny. Um, uh, and they are the ones that you use to either turn the game on or pause the game. Because this is one of the only electronic games out there that has a pause feature, which literally pauses the CPU from from doing anything. So it doesn't have any sort of software limitations. It literally tells the hardware to stop doing whatever it's doing. And then when you press it again, it resumes from where it was. So without, uh, oh yeah, I guess I, I guess I'd want to mention this. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the back because the back's kind of interesting. So on the back, um, there are a couple things. For one, there's a bunch of writing. For two, there's two little weird holes, which I don't really know what those are for. I'm guessing... No, I don't know. On the very back, which is the back of where the stick shift is, is either a logo or just a thing that it kind of uh, goes on to. The speaker is on the opposite side of the battery cover. The, uh, the battery cover, by the way, is one of the very unconventional clip-on battery covers where you have to, uh, where where you don't unscrew it 
Instead, you just slide on these two little tabs and just a minute while I try to do that. Slide on these two tabs and excuse me for the watch. Now the battery cover is off. I can put it back on by simply just snapping it on like that. Um, and the game takes four double A's. Now it's a very s specific configuration. It's a little bit like uh, the loops, where it's two on the front and two on the back. Uh, but um, they don't, I don't know if they have the exact same configuration, but they, they kind of felt like it when I put the batteries in. Uh, I'm going to have to mess a little bit with the, the batteries once I get bored of playing it normally because I really want to check out what this thing does on low batteries. Because the brain shift, one of the main reasons why I like it so much, is not just because it's a fun game, which that is as well, but also because it's extremely crazy on low batteries. I just now realized every single one of the wheels has the, one of, has the little rubber foot on it, so that's how it kind of stays level on a table is how it kind of rises up to give people like all the the room like a kind of so that it can kind of like go upwards and also there's a screw inside of every wheel i wonder if you can unscrew them I'm not sure uh, but you can feel those screws definitely so the battery cover is right between like the two clips for the battery cover are between the number one and the speaker is kind of opposite that. It's kind of like near numbers hmm, five and six, I guess. Exactly like the Super Simon 2003, the numbers go from one to six in counterclockwise order. That is important to remember. I don't understand why exactly they did it like that. It's probably because maybe play like playing of card games always goes in counterclockwise order and they're expecting this to be a multiplayer games I i'm not sure could be anything really okay so i better turn this on now and we'll get started with exploring what the different things are and then at one point i might actually put it into test mode for you guys just so you can hear what that's like before i do that however i'm gonna figure out where my phone is so I can place it right over here. I'm going to put this on my lap and I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn this on. Here we go. Alright! Get your brain in gear and let's play Brain Ship. Now choose your game. So, the Brain Shift has six games and each one is different. Let's go through them all. Well, mostly. I'm going to try to focus on one at uh, all, but at least once. So, uh, to choose a game, you simply shift to the correct color. Uh, or the correct number, that is. Oh, before I start this, I need to tell you what the colors are. Am, am I right? I just press the pause button. The colors are red, green, yellow, blue, orange, orange and white from one to six. Okay, I hope you got that. Let's go. I'm gonna shift it to number one for game one. Game one, six shifts. Now, how many shifters do we have? Now, how many shifters do we have? So you can go all the way from one to four. And I'd like to show you how this works. First though, I'm gonna do one shifter. Actually, no, I wanna show you what happens if, you try to, uh, if I try to shift five. It doesn't like it. It makes the noise. And that just means it's an invalid selection. So I'm now gonna choose one shifter. One shifter, okay. You shift what I call. So it said just said you shift what I call. This is a reaction game, basically the Bop It style kind of game. And basically the way it works, it's a very interesting concept, is you start out with a pattern length of two. Every round starts with uh, the game calling one shift, or as many, whichever player. It could be two shift, three shift, four shift, in which case uh, players one, two, three, or four are the ones to shift the next sequence of commands. And then 
uh, the round begins, and it will start calling out colors. You have to shift them to the correct one. Uh, and every time you do that, the amount of time you have decreases. Now, believe me, it goes so fast that I'm probably going to mess this up very quickly. So just bear with me. Here we go. And the music goes faster Green. as well. Red. One ship. Red. Yellow. What? Sorry, players. One, you crashed. You had three ships. This game is over. Now at this point, it's going to ask you if you want to play again. Game one, six ships. And the way to do that is you press the on button, which is very counterintuitive, by the way. You press the on button to play the same game again. You ship what I call. Also, Orange. oh, oh, that's, that's, that's what, what, what since what? Sorry, player. One, you crashed. You have two ships. This game is over. But I, game one. As I was going to tell you before it rudely interrupted me and didn't let me pause the game, every, every last uh, color in one of the sequences will always be spoken in a lower pitch. Six ships. You shift what I call. Everything is always random. Orange, yellow, red, blue, one ship. Orange, green, red, yellow, orange, one ship. Green, red, yellow, blue, red, white, one ship. Yellow, blue, red, white, green. No! Wrong one, Jim. Sorry, player. One, you crashed. You have six ships. This game is over. If you wait here, you can hear that it starts clicking. This means that the lights are flashing. This game is over. The lights are flashing all around to, t to show you that you can press the on button. It also does that when, you're, when it's waiting for you to choose which game you want to play. And when it says this game is over for the second time, it turns off completely. Uh, I do have to confess, of course, I have played all six modes at least a couple times before, uh, a few uh, minutes before I started making this video, so uh, I do kind of know what I'm doing. The most I've ever gotten on stick shift is seven, uh, and same with memory shift. So uh, let's do stick shift, but with multiple players this time, and see if we get any anywhere, and I'll show you what the multiplayer is like. Another interesting thing is that every time you power the brain shift on, it, sh it randomizes between saying all right or okay, listen up. It's either one or the other. Listen. Okay. Listen up. All right. Listen up. All right. See? Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Now choose your game. Game one, six shifts. Now, how many shifters do we have? Four shifters. That's the most you can have. As you can hear, uh, it has the same amount of patterns. Basically, it goes through all the available players one by one, and then once it's ready, once everyone's either crashed or or completed a round, then it will assess who's crashed, and if no one's crashed, it'll just go on to the next round. And you'll see what happens when someone does crash. Three. This is when the music speeds up. Yellow. Red. Two. Shift. Yellow. Orange. Yellow. Three. Shift. Orange. Orange. Green. No, we didn't have enough time, Jim. Green is perhaps the hardest one for me. I don't really know why. Four. Shift. Blue. Green. Yellow. No. No. Jim.
No. Sorry, player two. You're out. Player one, you win with five shifts. This game is over. I'm going to try that again. Game one, six shifts. It remembers every setting, including the amount of players. You shift what I call one shift. Also, you might notice that there's two different kinds of music in this game. One of them is the din 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 and there's another one that goes din 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 which is what happens when you're playing the game, and that's what speeds up. White! Orange! Two! Shift! Yellow! Blue! Three! Shift! Red! And it also changes Blue. pitch the more you Four. go up. Shift. I keep doing it the wrong way. Green, shift. Yellow. Blue. Red. Four, shift. Yellow. Blue. Green. Sorry, player. Two. You're out. One, shift. White. Green. White. White. Three, shift. Green. White. Orange. Green. Four, shift. There we go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. Yellow. Or not. Ah. Green, shift. Yellow. Green. Blue. 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 Orange. 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 Green. Yellow. Orange. No. No. Sorry, player. One. You're out. Sorry, player. Four. You're out. Player three. You win with six. Let me just quickly show you what happens. I'm going to try to go as far as I can this time, but I'll mess up. If there's only two players left, I'll show you what it's like. That's my favorite line. My favorite uh, color that it can say. Ah! I forgot which one that was, Janet. Oh well. But hello, I... Okay. I don't mind. Okay, White. I'm gonna do nothing. Four, ship. Blue. Now listen to what happens. Player two and four crash. Okay, repeat that round again. Two, ship. So basically, if there if everyone's crashed, everyone can do the round again until until only one of the two people are left standing and the other person has done it correctly. And I put it to the wrong one completely. Red, white, yellow, red, blue. Sorry, player two, you're out. Player four, you win with five shifts. This game is over. So, yeah. This game is over. There's stick shift for you. I didn't really do a very good job of that, but... Uh, uh, of course, there is still time to practice. Let's keep going. Okay. Listen up. Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Now choose your game. Game two, memory shift. Now, how many shifters do we have? 
The thing about the memory games in this game is, for whatever reason, they don't work with one player. You only, you can only do two, three, or four. So let's do four. Four, shift, sir. Okay. Remember the pattern. Then shift it. One, shift. In this game, every single color spoken is in the lower pitch variant, which is kind of weird. It gives you a set of colors. This time, it starts with three, not two, and it says shift, and you have to do it. Oh, my stick was kind of in the wrong place. Great job. Sorry, player. One should have been red. Two, chip. Blue, orange, white, chip. And it tells you which one it should have been. Three, chip. Green, red, blue, chip. Four, chip. Orange, 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 chip. Ooh, nice. Looks like I can't make sense of where where the stick is sometimes. Why didn't it work? It's weird. I can do much better than that. I wonder why it didn't work. Like, why, why the stick was weird. Sometimes I always, I, uh, sometimes I uh, find myself shifting to the, uh, kind of like the diagonals, like in between, and of course it doesn't like that. Thankfully, there's no uh, crazy time limits. Oh, that was my mistake. Shift it to orange instead. Okay, for uh, quickness sakes, I'm just going to leave it there. Now, let's move over to number three, and we're basically going to be playing the exact same game, except you'll see. Okay. Listen up. Get your brain in gear, and let's play brain shift. Now choose your game three. Who shifts it? Now, how many shifters do we have? Four shifters. Okay. Remember the pattern, then shift it. Yellow, green, blue. Player two, you shift it. So basically, if you're playing with real players, everyone has to really be on their toes when they're doing this because it can call out any player for them to shift it. I always, I always mess that up. I wonder why. Sorry, player. Four. Should have been red. Sorry, player. Four. You're out. Red. White. 
Whenever it says player and then the player number uh, is when, like after that is when you can start shifting. When it starts saying you shift it, before then it doesn't let you. No, I shifted it to white. Jam it. I need to really position Sorry, myself for two, this. It's... Red. Sorry, player one, you're out. Sorry, player two, you're out. Player three, you win with five ships. This game is over. So there's that game. I don't really want to play that again. This game is over. At least not right now. Instead, let's move on to another... Uh, multi single slash multiplayer game okay i wonder what this is like in uh multiplayer let's Get find your out brain and gear and let's play brain ship now choose your game four ear ship now how many shifters do we have four shifter okay look and listen remember the location of the six sounds shift all six and win so basically it's going to play uh six sounds in order from one to six and you need to remember where they are That's number six. Now find That's number three. If, if you mess up, I think the next player takes over. Now find That's five. Now find I think that was two. Let's say they don't remember. Let's press one. Oh, that was the correct one. Okay. See there. You have to repeat them in the correct order. Player three, you find. Now find. Player three wins. This game is over. So that's very, very simple and very easy. This game is over. I'm going to move in a slightly different order here because I want to save the best for last. And I'm going to do number six first and then number five after. Okay. Listen up. Get your brain in gear and let's play brain ship. Now choose your game. Game six. Shift around. Now, how many shifters do we have? Shift around is basically like pass attack in Brain Warp. You make up your own sequence. Four shifters. Okay. Repeat all shifts and add one more. The survivor wins. Start on white. Player one, your turn. Player two, your turn. Player three, your turn. Your turn. Player two. Sorry, player two. Should have been blue. You're out. Player three. Your turn. 
So that is Shift Around. This game is over. Of course, this is much more fun if you actually have real people. And unfortunately, uh, unlike the Brain Warp, it doesn't say what the colors are as you're doing it. So as a blind person, if you're playing this, you're basically stuck. Not unless the people are shouting out the colors as they're shifting to them or something. And then finally, we have the main attraction for me, at least, which is another, the third out of a couple, out of another few, of Code Buster type games. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen up. Get your brain in gear and let's play Brain Shift. Now, game five. Secret Shift. One player only. So, basically, you start with five uh, colors, and it keeps getting harder and harder, and you have 60 seconds for each combination. If you get it wrong, you have to start from the beginning and try to figure out what the combination is. Okay, find the secret shift pattern. You have 60 seconds to shift it, or you crash. Start on red. And the more time you spend, the faster the music becomes. You completed five shifts in 21 seconds. Now find a pattern of six shifts. Start on green. That's as high as I've ever gotten before. Now find a pattern of nine shifts. Start on white. I wonder how pattern based this is. Whichever one was the correct pattern. This game is over. 
Also, I said jam it like a million times in this video. Great job, me. Let's try one final time, because I'm very addicted to these kinds of games, if you can't tell already. Find the secret shift pattern. You have 60 seconds to shift it, or you crash. Start on red. Nice. This won't be. the most that I've ever gotten in terms of the pitch of that sound. This game is over. I've only gotten it to go all the way up to 10 at the moment. I, I'm really not skilled enough to get further. Maybe it's because I'm just, I'm just going slower, and this is the fastest that I've ever went. Like, I can't go that much faster. 
I know you can, like, like you can, you, you can do crazy maneuvers and things, but I don't, I, I can't do them that quickly. I'm gonna try one more game of stick shift. Okay. Listen up. See how well I do. Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Game one, stick shift. Four, shifter. Okay. You shift what I call. One, shift. There's no volume control Yellow. like most of the games are Red. on. Two, shift. Oh. Yellow. You can cut it off by shifting Green. twice. That's interesting. Three, shift. Blue. Red. Four, shift. I better put this on my lap. Red. So it doesn't go all weird One, shift. like that. It's very very fast like it takes it's very uh demanding like it, you need to you need to be like exactly on time to get this right okay so now i think it's time for me to show you a couple things with the batteries so the way that th this works is that there's uh two rows of two but there are springs separating each one now that's helpful to know well, let me show you something I'm going to turn this game on, and I'm going to remove okay. one of the batteries. All right. And every time I do that, Get your brain and it'll gear. turn off. All right. And come back on. Get your brain and gear and let's show play you brain. something. Use your. Yep, that's right. You can get the game to pause the audio. Everything else resets. Get your There's one, one, ba ship. one battery now shoot that makes the audio cut out, which is weird, but it's also kind of interesting. So there's that. And then there's, of course, the test mode, which I'm going to quickly show you how this works because it's one of the easiest to do in all of electronic game history. All you do is you hold both buttons down, the pause button and the on button, while you take a battery out and put it back in. And instead of powering on normally, it does this. With a happy birthday. So at this point, you can do a couple things. You can shift to um, red, which is a beep. You can shift it to green. All right, get your brain in gear and let's play brain That's going to play the okay. voice clips. If you one, shift it to shift. yellow, it plays the menu music. If you shift it to blue, right. it plays the gear, other music play and the voices shift. over okay. it. If you, if you press orange, it turns everything off. 
or for at least a little bit before it before it makes the lights start clicking again because they're still flashing and then if you do white it plays happy birthday and one more thing if you press the pause button one red it lights up two green and it will ask you to hit the specific color so just press red it said two green so you have to press uh, shift to green three Yellow. Four. Blue. Blue. Five. Orange. Orange. Six. White. And white. One. Red. So it's not the color that you just pressed that it's telling you to do. It's the one after. So like, it's asking you to press each one in turn, but whenever you press it, it moves to the next one. Two. Green. So when it says two green, you have to shift it to green. Three. Yellow. If that makes any sense. Four. Blue. And if you press the pause button, it just goes back to that. Yeah. Oh, hey there, it just went slower. That's funny. Oh no, now I broke it. So with every every subsequent time you, uh, when, when you press white in that test mode, it starts breaking things. Like, a lot of things. Whenever you let go of the buttons is when it starts. I didn't do that. Two green. It did it by itself. One red. One red. It messes up the the matrix. Oh. Oh no! It froze. So it looks like the brain shift in its test mode is very weird. Like, it glitches even if you have it on good batteries. I didn't know that. But if you have it on low batteries, it can do even crazier things. And it froze again. When it's frozen like this, you can't really do much with it. You have to take the batteries out. Oh, it shifted to another thing again. One red. One, two, green. I didn't do that. Oh, hey there, it's slower again. It likes to freeze a lot when it's doing that. It's very, uh, weird. I'm guessing it doesn't do that when you're playing right. normally, right? So, like, Get if you just... Get your plane in gear and let's play brain shift. Now choose your game. Wait, what the hell did it just do? Did it just say, now choose your game? Like it kind of froze? Game five, secret ship, one player only. Okay, find the secret ship pattern. You have 60 seconds to shift it or you crash. No, it's not doing anything. As you can hear, it's speeding up. That's weird, but it's also kind of interesting. I wonder why the test mode does the weird freezing bit. And it only does it for... Does it care if I do it slower? It sure does. The more you do it, it kind of overloads. And it gets weird, and it, then it freezes and dies. And it's almost consistent, like, it's weird. So just keep doing this. One red. See, I didn't do that. All right, get 
your bra. All right. All right. One. Red. The more you do it, the more likely it is that it's going to do something like that. Which is very weird, but it is what it is. So, that is the brain shift. And I'm so glad I have one. Like, really. It is crazy how long I've been waiting for this. And the fact that I can now mess with it, play it normally, and maybe even get some low battery action out of it later. I don't know uh, if that's going to happen, like, when I'll be able to do that, but... I'll definitely try it. I'm, I'm still wondering what uh, game I want to take the batteries out of. But it's, it's gonna still work. I want to try one thing. I'm gonna play... Oh, it's still frozen. I need to reset it. Just a minute. The cover is a bit hard to take off. And by the way... Mine came with all of the, uh, like, everything right. intact, including... Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Now choose your game. Including the little spongy things on the battery cover as well, which the brain bash that Pixel gave me doesn't have. Game four, ear shift, one, shifter. Okay, look and listen. Remember the location of the six sounds. Shift I'm going to try this and win. One final time. Player one, you find it. Now 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 find it. Okay, 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 okay. There it is! There it is! I knew it was going to do that. Okay, 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 okay. If I try shifting to three, it didn't, it doesn't care. There is no way to win. So that's a that's a weird ass bug. <laughs> the ear shift mode, it does that sometimes. And it doesn't even have to do with if it's on low batteries it looks like. It just does that. Like every so often the last command instead of being a sound, it just says okay, okay, or sometimes it says other things. Let's let's see if we can get it to do it a couple more times. Okay. Listen up. I don't Get really your understand. brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Game five. Six. Wrong game. Okay. Listen up. Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Game four. Ear shift. Now, how many? One. Shifter. Okay. Look and listen. Remember, Remember the, the location, location of the six sounds. sounds. Shift, shift all six, six and win. <laughs> sure if it has anything to do because I reset it just a while ago so it doesn't have to do with the fact that I was just putting it into test mode before and it's unlikely that it has anything to do with the fact that test mode was involved because how would it remember that it put it into test mode so like it probably isn't that but then what is it I don't really understand why it does that but it does I I specifically remember it it 
didn't always say okay four times. It sometimes said something else, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe mine just does that. I don't know. I really want to... Um, I really want to mess with the... Uh, I want to mess with low batteries, but I don't know All if right. I'll ever get it to... Well, let me try, let me try something. Like, it's very unlikely that I'll get now it to anything, but I want it quickly. Just out of curiosity. See what would happen. Alright! Get your... Alright! Alright! Get your brain in gear and let's play brain ship. Now choose your game. Alright! Get your brain... Okay! Okay! Listen up. Alright! Okay! It's extremely sensitive. Like, you just heard me shaking my hands up and down on that little contact. Uh, yeah, it, it can turn on at the slightest little touch. And thankfully, it is one of those games where it will turn on immediately instead of having you to press a button to get it to turn on. That's helpful. But yeah, uh, the batteries are too good uh, at the moment. So I can't glitch it with this state of batteries, but maybe if I put lower ones in it might work anyway uh that was about that i don't really want to uh play anymore because i don't have enough time to do so i wish i could but uh yeah at least i got to make this video for you guys and uh if you've watched until this point which i hope some of you might have and for that thanks a lot but um there is one more thing that i wanted to tell you guys and that is i re pre-recorded a maximum score episode and that's going to be going up about a day after this is uploaded, so uh, I hope you'll enjoy that one as well. As for if I'm going to be doing maximum score for the brain shift, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, it'll take me... It won't take me that much time, but it will require a lot more practice. So I think I'm going to hold off on that for a while until until I can get somewhere, and then we'll, and then I'll think about it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed me struggling through and trying to make sense of the brain shift, and I'll definitely be making more videos of uh, low battery action for this thing in the future. And thanks a lot for Sam, uh, uh, to Sam for sending this my way. It, it's like, it's amazing how I now have one of these things and that I'm, I really feel like I'm a part of the electronic gaming community. I mean, sure, I've been for a really long time, but now that I have a brain shift, it's like, yeah, uh, uh, it really is one of those games in my collection. It's a little bit like the Nemesis Factor where I feel like it deserves a lot of the praise that it gets for good reason, because it really is a challenging, fun, and interesting game. And that's the kinds of games that I love to play. So, yeah, I hope 
you've enjoyed somewhat. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Reporting for team. 14 notifications.